Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end and working as an individual. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I am a front-end developer. I work in React mostly. What are your thoughts on keeping up with skills and expertise while working as an individual? Well, the short answer is that you have to go through practically the same sort of channels and use the same methods that anybody does as a software developer. I mean, if you if you are if you have a healthy career in software development, you should ideally, of course, have some type of peer system or some way of getting input on your work practice and kind of keeping your ear to the ground and understanding what's going on in the in the in the industry. And people do this in different ways. Like the most popular things are, of course, newsletters, blogs, meetups tutorials on the web whatever right there's so much information out there that I don't have to go through with you that you know it's a good idea to do a little bit of Google searching on the tools that you use and just subscribe to different channels or RSS feeds or whatever to get some information and just read different articles that seem relevant and interesting to you where people teach you about different techniques and how what their findings are and so forth. Just keep your ear to the ground. I, I mean the information sharing in software development is like the best that I know of. I can't imagine, I mean there are of course other industries but uh, the transparency and the sharing and the, the, the passion our profession, uh, our, in, uh, our uh, field has for what we do. Like, the, 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 it is enormous. IT is just honest to God. It's it's there's a lot of very caring and amazing people who will give away everything they know about everything for free, so that other people can learn from their victories and their mistakes. So I think that there's a lot of things for you there. And this is the thing that I mean. This is the thing I do. It's the thing that everybody practically does. I mean, to different uh, degrees, of course, some people are very extreme and keep their ear to the ground and like really try to be involved in absolutely everything. And some people are less, like they they may not uh, read all the articles and so forth, but they might read something every, uh, every so often or go to a meetup every so often or stuff like that. So it's the same thing that everybody else is doing. And the thing that you have to understand about working as an individual is that there's really one, only one thing that is bad about that thing. And that is that you don't have a peer. You don't have somebody else with experience who can review your stuff. But at the same time, that not that's not necessarily a deal breaker because you I mean you're still going to develop. You're still going to learn from your mistake and your mistakes and your victories as you work. An example I can give you where it doesn't really matter if you're working as an individual or something like that, depending on how you define it, of course. Let's say that you are the senior in a two-person dynamic where you have you are super super experienced and your coworker is like a complete junior, he's never really done any type of coding. Well, the personal development that you might make with such a person is probably more in the area of mentorship or things like that. It's very unlikely that even if you're working together with this person or even if you have a team of them, that they're gonna be able to give you all that much new insights into your own coding. Unless, of course, I mean, if you've been, let's say, I've seen, I mean, I used to be this guy. I used to be the junior who came into a new company where there, there were people there who had been working for 20 years, but they had never heard about React. And I had. So I taught them about React and they basically made me into everything else. They taught me everything else. And so it's not like just because you're dealing with a junior that there's nothing to learn. I'm just saying that if you're getting a code review on something that you've been doing for 20 years from somebody who's been doing it for one year, odds are that they, their input might not be something that's going to educate all, all you all that much. But on the other hand, if you're working, if you are fortunate enough at the very least to work in an environment where you have people who are extremely talented and gifted and sort of at your level or maybe even below, uh, above your level who give you input on the work that you do, this is very valuable. This will develop you a lot. It's this, It's literally the same thing, at least from my perspective, uh, as having a coach. Let's say that you're going to get into shape. 
you, well, if you're going to get into shape, you can do it all alone and kind of just figure out all the things. And like, hopefully, if you watch enough YouTube videos or read blogs and so forth, you will learn how to do all the things to have a healthy lifestyle. But you can also, if you're in the position where you have a parent or a friend or you hire somebody who is trained and really knows their stuff about fitness and health and so forth, well, they're going to be able to give you more personalized feedback. And I mean, I hope we can agree that if you have, if you read about, or I mean, it's like buying a suit, right? If you're buying a, a, a mass produced suit, that's going to be one thing. But if you go to a tailor and have it, have the suit hand sewn for you, it's going to be a nicer fit because it's personalized to you. And that is the thing that you're getting if you work as a part of a team. Sure, you may not get that if you work as an individual, but at the same time, you're getting other things. And you're not. You, th that is something that you're you're missing out on that thing. But at the uh, at the same time, you're learning independence. You're learning how to rely on your own skills and getting information. And like, I mean, you, if you want to be really extreme about it, I work with I've worked with several people, and I've been that person a few times where you get so comfortable that you when you have the right people working with you that you start asking them for help every other minute instead of trying to fix your own problem. And that's not good either. I mean, if you're, it's just you, well, sure, you might have a few panic attacks here and there because, oh, shit, there's a hard problem and I don't have anybody to ask anything from. But if you're able to push through that and actually solve the problem, it's actually going to give, I mean, it's going to give you a sense of independence and a sense of accomplishment, hopefully. And so the pros and cons, I would say, I will give you, I will admit that I think that in general terms, it is better to have peers than to work as an individual. I just don't want you to get into this headspace that if you have a nice job and you enjoy what you do and you're learning stuff, but you don't have any peers, well, then you're doing something wrong because you're not. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just that you are, you're missing out on something that is fairly useful, that is very valuable, uh, but it's not like it's the end of the world. And if you do decide that, hey, this thing that you're doing right now, working as an individual, it's not really for you, then the next job that you're looking for, well, then maybe you factor in the whole working as part of a team in the equation. So you get to experience how it is to have people around you. But remember, even if you do that, you have no guarantees that the people that you work with is going to give you that all those benefits because it really comes down to many factors. It comes down to personal chemistry between you and the people involved and the experience level between you and all the people involved. So there's a many factors, but if you get all those ducks in a row and everything j lines up just so, it is like the best thing there is. And I've been very fortunate to be able to, uh, to say that I've been in more than a few situations where I've had peers who were perfect for me. We worked extraordinarily well together. Even earlier in my career, I had mentors who were perfect in every sense of the word. They, they, they rocket propelled my career forward with all the wisdom that they could share on what I, when I was working together with them. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that you should try to get out of the headspace that just because you work alone, everything sucks or everything's bad or that you're hurting your career somehow. That's not necess That's not true. You're missing out on something that is a big benefit to you. But I mean, that's true for practically any everybody, depending on how you look at it. And as long as you keep your ear to the ground, just as literally all the other developers who have peers work as part of a team in an IT company or like what, what, whatever they're doing, right? You're still getting like 90% of the benefit. Those last 10%, like working as part of a team, those are really important percentages. And if you have the ability to to maneuver so you actually get some really good peers, I think that you will find that it is an enormous boon to your personal development and probably your own, your own state of mind if you can get to that point. But I don't want you to think that you're doing something wrong or you sh everything is going to turn out badly for you if you don't have that, because that's not true. At the end of the day, you're still going to learn, you're still going to progress, and you're going to get to a senior level, even if you work alone. But remember, if you do have the chance to get some peers, try it out, because I 
promise you, if, if you do it right, if you get the right people around you, it's going to help. It's going to help a lot. Have a great day.